Oh, you, you know my this shit? Yo, yo, I told niggas, bro. Look, he's running with the stroller. Shit. <laughs> Look at his yo, baby, yo. huh? Yo. He threw the nigga baby in the car, yo, bitch. Bro, you, you know my show you this shit? Yeah. Yo, yo, I told niggas, bro. Look, he's running with the stroller. Shit. <laughs> Look at his yo, baby, yo. huh? Yo. He threw the nigga baby in the car, yo, yo, bitch. Bro. Shalom, shalom. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High. Name is Only Begotten Son, Name the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon, Cap down here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutation to the whole folk scattered abroad. No way. Throwing your ops baby in the trash is just crazy. All right, and you've seen this video. Apparently, some Jake was out walking with his uh, son, you know, and then he saw some of his ops, which means his, um, you know, his opposers or his oppositions, you know, his, you know, his enemies. And they're all Jake. You know, Jake is just, you know, uh, uh, soddish, you know, and, and they have a, 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 a disdain hatred for each other because of the damage that Esau have done to our people. OK, so they'll do these things to each other, but they'll never do, do, do this to Esau. But, but you saw they chased him down, you know, and then I'm sure they probably caught him and beat his ass or whatever. And they threw his baby into the trash, man. Okay, they threw his son into the trash can. And then, worst part about it is they filmed it all, man. You know, they, they filmed it all for the internet, you know. So, so, so now the next niggas gonna try to do something, you know, more, you know, evil and wicked and violent, disgusting, man. You know, it's a constant competition of who can be the most violent, evil, and, 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 and wicked. And that's why ultimately America is about to be destroyed and two thirds of our people are going to be destroyed with it, man. This is the spirit of two thirds, man. All right. Evil, wicked niggas. All right. So let's go here. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are soddish children, which means stupid, silly. For you to record this and first of all, for you to do it, not only that, but to record it, it's just fucked up, man. And it shows you how dumb our people are because now you know your ass can get locked up, you know, for kidnapping and everything else. You know, child, child indecency, um, child endangerment, you know, <laughs> like, come on, man. And Jake got Jake got to record everything, you know, for fucking views and clout, you know, and Jake be recording their own crimes and, and be the own, be, 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 be their own snitches. It says they are sawdust children. They have none understandings so when it comes to the understanding of these scriptures and how about you shine how to be righteous. They have no understanding. It says they are wise to do evil. So these niggas think of all kind of new ways and, you know, different tactics and uh, opportunities to, to, to just to be evil, man. You know, just to be a demon, just to just to bring hell upon the next Jake, you know, their, their own brother or sister. It says they are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. So these would be the same people that would do this and take pride in laughing this, but they'll never go out there and teach the, the word of y'all about you, y'all shy. You know, they'll never go out there and um and uh do the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai or repent to get closer to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is why two thirds must be destroyed. And they will be, man. Okay. They will be. Okay. This spirit that you see on Jake, you know, it's not gonna come it's not it's not gonna, gonna go go with us into the kingdom of heaven. Okay. It ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen, man. A lot of these niggas are gonna have to be, you know, left here and cleansed in that thermonuclear fire. Okay, let's go here. Um, <clears throat> let's go to Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. It says, Hear the word o, uh, uh, of Yahweh, ye children of Israel, which are you so called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Indians. For Yahweh have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Most High in the land. So the Lord is upset with our people because they have turned from his ways and there is no truth nor mercy nor knowledge in the land. This is why majority of our people are getting destroyed, getting gunned down, getting, you know, just, you know, uh, uh, shot up and shit, you know. It says by swearing and lying and killing and stealing, they stole his baby and committing adultery. They break out and blood touches blood, which means like black on black crime. You know, Jake going and going, going at each other and doing the most evil and evil and heinous crimes to each other. But they'll never do that to their enemies or, or their oppressors. 
You see, this is how this is how low and, and how and how bad our people have, have gotten. It says, therefore, shall the land mourn, and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish. The beast, uh, it's like it with the beast of the field, and with the fowls of heaven. Yeah, the fishes in the sea also shall be taken away. Uh, and that's why you, when you, if you, if you go, through, if you ride through the hood, you see that the land mourneth and it is in languish, man. Everything is all fucked up, you know, Jake all jacked up. That's because of these curses that's on us for all, for all of our sins. Okay, the scripture says we suffer because of our sins. You know, and I'm sure that Jake, you know, that was chasing down wasn't blameless. They was probably talking shit all over the internet, and they caught up to him. You know, all this, you, and, and, that, and that's another thing too. Jake be talking all kind of shit on the internet, man. You, yeah, when somebody see you in person, they they, they gonna deal with your ass, man. And be careful what you say to people online and shit, thinking that you that you can't be touched because you behind a computer screen or because you behind a keyboard. Motherfucker gonna see you in person and and uh, and, and, and oppress your ass, man. Now you're putting your whole family in danger. So that's another thing, too. That's, that's the other side of that coin, you know, which is why we should all, you know, have a certain respect for each other and treat each other the way, the way we want to be treated. As the scriptures say, love thy neighbor, man, which is not just any old, you know, it's not, it's not just for the neighborhood white man, okay? He's talking about, you know, um, other Jakes, you know, other Israelites. It says, with the beasts of the field, the fowls of the of heaven, yeah, the fishes and the sea have also... Uh, the taken away so it says yet let no man strive nor reprove another and this is the problem in israel nobody wants to strive or reprove one another you know and even when men do that scripture says they hated him that rebuketh in the gate you know so even when the man going off you know and the, the main men that do rebuke and reprove are the elders and apostles of great millstone man okay those men will you know uh break you know you know break all these things down and certain men will do videos and you know reprove them you know and then these guys will get emotional so you hate and you just and that third nah man you know this, this is ultimately love just, and, and uh, yet let no man strive nor reprove another for thy people are as they that strive with the priests therefore shalt thou fall in the in the day and the prophet shall fall with thee in the night and i will destroy thy mother verse 6 my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. So because Jake has rejected this knowledge, the Lord said he going to reject you. It says, I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. As you see right here, this man's son was forgotten. <laughs> okay, I'm thrown in the trash can. Shit fucked up, man. It's fucked up. But, you know, you, you know there's many, you know, spectrums you know to this situation there's many different sides to this coin you know and, and all of it is wicked i'm not justifying any of it all of it is wicked man you know all of it is wicked and this is why ultimately lords come back to destroy the majority of our people you know let me grab that two parts there because this is definitely two-thirds man it's a two-thirds spirit okay to throw somebody's baby into a damn trash can you know the, the baby ain't had nothing to do with the beef but that, but but that's also how the Lord get down. You had, you know, Jake's that went off in in, in, in different accounts in the scriptures where Jake's went off, and the Lord will destroy the whole family, man. So you, as a grown, full grown man, you got to watch how you carry yourself and how you treat people because really the Lord is, is liable to destroy your whole family off of what you did or off of what you said, man. You know, your whole you, your whole family will suffer behind your actions. That's why as men we have to move like men, you know. It says, um, Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. And right now that sounds cliche and shit, but when the times are coming into, we see death and destruction on every corner. You know, then it's going to make sense, man. Watch what you say about people. Hey, 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 hey. Watch who you offend, because you never know. And then this, this is a prime example right here. Jake offended these men, and they fucking ran down on his ass and threw his baby into the trash from something that he said or something that he did. You know? So his baby ain't had nothing to do with it. But because this nigga ran his mouth, you put your whole family in jeopardy, man. And Jake don't understand that. Jake, you know, grew up in the fucking burbs, you know, with their mama, sucking on the mama titty to, 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 to 25 years old. Now all of a sudden they think they men and they run their mouth against real men. Hey, but the Lord will have it where somebody will jack your ass up, man. Don't ever think it can't happen to you. Brother did a video about that. Don't ever think it can't, it can't be you. You know, Jake think that they're unstoppable. They can't die. They, you know, 
they, 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 they are impervious to, 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 to anything. Well, you're going to find out the hard way, man. Your Lord going to send somebody to press your ass. Okay? There's always somebody bigger and better. And your whole boss your shot will send somebody to press your ass, man. And like I said, your whole family will suffer because of it. It says, Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Meaning mean, two parts. Okay, if you got a, a, a pizza pie and you got you cut it into three parts, take two of those parts, throw it in the trash. Okay, now you only got, you know, less than a half of a damn, you know, or you, or you just threw away more than half of, of that pie. That's how many of our people are going to be destroyed here, man. Okay, so you, that, yeah, it, yeah, your average nigga you see walking down the street, you see uh, where you at camp teaching, they're not finna get it, man. So if you don't pass out flyers, you know, we're telling you the truth. Scripture says, my sheep shall hear my voice. J Jake, we doing extra shit. Now you got all these demons in your camp. It says, <laughs> it says, shall be cut off and die. The third part therein shall be left, shall be left therein. So, that, so the one third is going to be left to be, you know, saved by the Lord. It says, I will bring the third part through the fire, and I will refine them as silver is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people. They shall say, Yahweh is my power. So that third part, which is that, that elect, that remnant, we're being brought through that fire. We're being purified. We're being purged of all our uh, evilness and all, all our iniquity, you know, all our sins. Okay, and not, you know, adding up more sins, you know, doing more evil things and wickedness in this earth, man, you know. And if, and if you want to be, you know, get any kind of mercy, you you, you know, you got to be merciful, you know. So whatever it's in, shalom, kwamish, shalom, abba, abba, praise, let's be edifying to the hopeful elect, shalom.